Cloud Gurus? Welcome back to another AWS This Week where we find out what goodies AWS have announced in the past seven days. I am your friendly neighborhood, Jess Alvarez, and this week, Redshift system logs gain consistent durability, ECS gains a faster CAS scale-in process, and Fargate gains more compute and memory. Stay tuned to hear the full story in this episode of AWS This Week. Amazon Redshift, Amazon's answer to data warehousing, provides clusters for your data that can be paused and resumed to be cost optimal. Redshift customers use System Table and View Logs, or STL and SVL. These log views provide insight into query executions for performance and auditing as needed. These logs offer seven days of system log data and used to be paused when the cluster was paused and even took a bit to come back online when you resume the cluster. Here's the big news. Those logs are now persistent across the pause and resume of the cluster. This means no lost logs, no gaps in data, smoother audits, and better performance accounts. Huzzahs all around. Amazon ECS or Elastic Container Service is a fully managed container orchestration service. Customers use it to deploy, manage, and scale their container architecture. ECS has a feature for auto-scaling called CAS, or Cluster Auto-Scaling. This feature manages the auto-scaling of the EC2 instances that your nodes are on to allow your cluster to have optimal capacity and cost. When using CAS, ECS used to be limited to reducing 5% capacity for each scale-in step at a time. Well, now, this limit is 50%, which means fewer scale-in steps and a faster scale-in process. This still maintains availability of capacity for those spiky traffic patterns. Fun fact, when testing this new functionality, they used 334 C5 extra large instances for 1,000 tasks, scaled that in to just 34 instances for 100 tasks. There was an improvement of eight times from 80 minutes down to just 10 minutes. That is huge. This will enhance the ability to optimize capacity and costs. And who doesn't want to save money? AWS Fargate is Amazon's serverless compute engine for containers. That means that customers can use Fargate to deploy, manage, secure, and scale containers in ECS or Elastic Container Service and EKS, Elastic Kubernetes Service which brings us to the news. ECS and EKS tasks can now be configured to use up to 16 vCPUs. This is four times what it used to be. vCPUs increasing means machine learning inference, scientific modeling, and distributed analytics can now run much faster on Fargate. But Jess, what about memory? Well, that is also increasing to 120 gigabytes which is also about four times what it was. That means batch workloads, extract, transform, load jobs, genomics, and media processing applications will now perform much better on Fargate. These increases can also make migration to serverless container compute easier for applications that need more, but cannot be re-architected. To take advantage of these increases, create a new task definition or pod specification specifying the new option, or update existing tasks and relaunch them. Pricing does continue to be based on requested vCPU and memory required for the task or pod, so keep that in mind when you want to implement this new hotness. If you're looking to get started in cloud or boost your career, we're inviting you to get hashtag cloud happy. Until the end of the year, we're giving away free training for Amazon's Cloud Practitioner Certification, Microsoft's AZ900 Azure Fundamental Certification, and Google's Cloud Digital Leader Certification. This does also include the HashiCorp Certified Terraform Associate and Certified Kubernetes Administrator Certs. If you're ready to get your head in the cloud, check out the link in the description to sign up for free and boost your cloud career now. I hope you enjoyed this episode of AWS This Week. I'll include links in the resources to cover all the fancy new things we covered today. Don't forget to join our awesome Discord community where you can hang out with our AWS training architects and like-minded people. 
Thank you so much for joining me today. Remember, deep breaths, baby steps, and keep being awesome, Cloud Gearies.